An Indianapolis mother reached out to WRTV desperate to get help for her son who has epilepsy. And according to doctors, he is now having dozens of seizures daily. She was having trouble getting what she describes as the only option to improve her son's condition approved by insurance. WRTV's Troy Washington talked with the mother and explains how WRTV was able to get results for the family. If someone was like, cut off your right arm right now and like it'll fix it, I would do it in a heartbeat. Sarah Hampton's tears said it all. A mother just looking for a way to help her son. On good days, he's having about 19 focal seizures a day to where his hand is shaking and he's unable to use that part of his body. Two years ago, her son Jaden was diagnosed with epilepsy. We're scared because it's progressed so rapidly within two years. It's like, what is another two years gonna be like? Will he be paralyzed? Will he lose that mobility? Or worse. People can die from epilepsy. I'm so afraid that what if he just has one really bad one and that's it and I lose my son forever. Doctors have tried prescribing medicine to control the seizures, but he's still having dozens a day. So hard because like I'm watching my child just deteriorate before my eyes and I don't know what to do. I don't know where to turn. When Hampton reached out to WRTV, she was at her wit's end. She was being told responsive neurostimulation, a system that monitors brain waves and has been shown to reduce seizures, might be the only option to help her son. So this is really the only other option like we have to give him the potential to have a normal life. I just want my son happy and healthy. That's what I ultimately want. And I feel like that's what this surgery will do. It will reduce or take away his seizures. The problem is at first the insurance company wouldn't approve the procedure that cost between $25,000 and $35,000. I'm a mother of three children, like I don't have that kind of money and they just keep saying that it's not medically necessary. It's not medically necessary. The mother says that was until WRTV got involved sending emails to the hospital and the insurance company explaining her son's future could depend on having the procedure. On Friday morning, WRTV found out the insurance company will cover the procedure. Working for you, Troy Washington, WRTV. And Jaden is just eight years old. The surgery will happen tomorrow. We will keep you updated on his recovery.